Hey Rantomize here, and welcome to another Gacha video. So today we have the monthly revenue report for July 2023. Let's take a look at who are the winners and the losers of this month. And um, we can see right off the bat a few reds in the negative. So starting at the very top, Honkai Star Rail. So Honkai Star Rail sitting at number one above the sister Genshin Impact. So of course, Honkai Star Rail is still relatively new. The hype is very, very much alive. Uh, we've got the Blade, I think, during July. And uh, the previous banner, oh, I'm forgetting, what was before? Locha. So it should be Locha plus Blade, I believe. Um, so yeah, 40 million is not bad. Of course, comparison to 58, a 80 million loss, but uh, 40 million is still at the very, very top. So glad to see it succeed. Um, and also, guys, if you guys don't know, I'm streaming every day now uh, for the month of August. So you guys can tune in. We will play Honkai Star Rail and then Nikkei and then Variety, where we cover pretty much all mobile games across the West as well as some in the East. So sitting at number two, we've got Genshin Impact. Of course, behemoth of a <laughs> game. I think it's a dead month for them in terms of there's nothing really much going on. So 31 million, very close to 32 before that, stable and doing well. Third is Fate Grand Order. 24 million this is the jp version so this is not counting for global so this is quite a lot of revenue very very nice and uma musume at 21 now people were saying oh my god what's going on with side games because they did not do so well in their q was a q1 or q2 report so uh mm. but still we can see uma musume earning a ton and i do believe they are going to plan for another anime so the animation for Uma Usuma is crazy. I think season two, was it season two? That was, that was really, really good. Sitting at number five, Nikkei at 15 million. So quite a steep drop. This is, wow, 23 to 15, 8 million drop. So a lot of you guys probably wondering, wait, didn't we have a summer event? Well, as a Nikkei day zero player, <laughs> I can tell you, the summer event gave us a summer Mary, which had huge assets uh, and it was all right as a unit. But the second one, summer neon, not that great, not that great. So I did not expect <laughs> the revenue to uh, be more than the previous month. Uh, however, with this month, OK, guys, don't do post just yet. We have a summer Anus into summer Helm. These two are going to definitely push us to the 20 million plus category because if you guys didn't know for Nikkei most of the spending is from JP our JP pros account for about 60 to 70 percent of the spending for Nikkei and they managed to push summer analysis announcement to number one trending on summer analysis so expect 20 million plus from our JP bros and uh, Nikkei should be sitting comfortably in the top five once again maybe even top three who knows blue archive god damn all you cute and funny senseis <laughs> I mean, blue archives just every time i see it honestly impressive i don't really see gacha games that uh, you know pick up after the release usually gacha games have really strong first month and then just starts to taper off blue blue archive steadily is increasing in their value and uh, reach I mean, the was it the Mika banner? I think it was the Mika banner. Absolutely top tier material. Uh, I was pretty tempted to download it as well for myself. Uh, but yes, <laughs> congratulations, Blue Archive. Some of the words, the grandfather of all gotcha, still sitting at 10 million. Very nice. And how to Miku. This is, I think, a music rhythm game. That's fine. Uh, fake grand order this is global 9 million bit more than the last month what's going on there any fgo players let me know um is it anniversary or something i do believe fake grand order is having anniversary sometime in the near future or the past i do think someone commented it in the uh in the comments so glad to see it still do well getting hard carried by the art and story Arknights, very nice to see Arknights do much better. And I think this is off of uh, a male limited banner. Male limited banner, I want to say. Um, so, I guess uh, there are lots of Husbundle lovers. 
and blue archive global also is doing great wow all of these cute and funny senseis around the world this is 5 plus 14 sitting at 19 million pretty much if you count if you add blue archive jp and global they're sitting above nikkei they are sitting above nikkei so alarm bells are ringing and Memento Mori, our beloved musical slideshow, is still earning 5 million, just above Epic 7, who is always comfortably around um, 3 to 4 million. Heaven Burns Red, um, this is by Maida June, a very, very famous uh, storyteller. Uh, the, I think, director or the storyboard director for stuff like Clanad, um, the piano anime, for God's name. But huge hype in Japan. That's why it's still raking a lot of money. Brown Dust 2. Okay, this is this is one thing. And we talked about it just before this video as well. Brown Dust 2, I'm very glad to see how great it's doing. Because its launch was a bit eh. I got sponsored, okay, from Brown Dust 2. I played it. I love the art. Humongous, humongous assets. I put in a lot of money, I reverse sponsored them, and I pulled Justia, which was the rate-up banner, to plus four, which is one copy away from the max amount of dupes. But the gacha system wasn't that great, okay, and it was a very, very long process uh, for the dailies and everything. But the devs clapped the player's cheeks right back and came out with so many positive changes. And now it's honestly one of the better gacha games out there. It's so good. I might, like I said, pick it up and play it casually or try it again during the variety stream just to show you guys the changes as uh, so you can catch it on stream here on YouTube or Twitch, but it tells, it shows, all right, 4 million. This is post-release, right? This is post-launch, 4 million at pretty much the second or the first 1.5 months. 4 million is really, really good. Really, really good. Positive. Now, Princess Connect, Rip Global, uh, JP is sitting at 3 million. I think they've had a pretty big event. Three million is okay. Uh, it's still going on. So fantastic. Tech Op Symphony. Now this... Hmm. This is for myself a bit difficult to talk about because I watched the anime, right? The anime was made as a prequel to the story. It was actually made to promote the game, the Tech Op. I really liked the anime, I was very keen to find out what happens, but then the Tech Op Symphony, the gameplay, just didn't do it for me, okay? So, yeah, I wasn't uh, very keen on the game, but you can see 2.9 million for its launch, basically, is still very good. So I really urge you, if you want to give it a try, watch the anime and then play the game, try it out. Mm, it's not really for me, but uh, if you can go through the gameplay, I think the story itself is fantastic. It's really, really good. Arknights Global, mm, I mean, assuming this is a quiet month, so nothing changed. Azure Ling, the Coomers are not paying up. The Coomers are not paying up. What happened? Is it because we're not getting any summer limited skins, or was it because the 3 million is from the summer limited skins, and the Coomers have now uh, access to their post nut clarity? and are thinking, well, you know what? Let's just wait for the next <laughs> next loot thing. So Azerling down both from the global and the JP part. Everso is still going, hovering around the 1 million mark. Sure. Uh, they did have a massive half 1.5, I want to say, or half anniversary or one year anniversary. So uh, I'm surprised it didn't do that well in comparison to the previous month. So we have to see what... Uh, the next month revenue is and global tech op is also 1 million really really good so between jp and uh, global we're looking at tech op netting about 4 million fantastic now snowbreak containment zone okay this is a newcomer into the field right snowbreak containment zone we've got the shooters we've got uh, new quality of life changes they've added sweep so things are being listened to and there's a humongous patch coming up in the first week of August, and also I will be having sponsor streams for Snowbreak, so look forward to that. Uh, 1 million for 10 days is really good. 1 million for 10 days is really good, and this is self published, okay? So there's no publishers in the middle taking a 
percentage cut. This is all going straight to the publishers. And um, yeah, I'm very glad to see how they've responded to the feedback. I mean, it's it, it kind of feels like we're still in a, some form of beta because there's so many changes and lots of unit overhauls. But the 1 million for 10 days is really, really good. So kudos to them. And I look forward to uh, more positive things. Uh, so keep cooking, devs. After that, Limbus Company. Oh, okay, I need a sip of water because this is going to be a long ride. Oh my lord. Limbus Company. Let me oh, drink, take a sip of water first. So what happened with Limbus Company? You can see the revenue has not changed much. But Limbus Company made national news in Korea. National news in Korea. So the gist of things, and again, this is from unconfirmed sources. So if any Korean bros would like to rectify or, you know, post some sources research, that would be fantastic. But from what I've read, all right, from what I've read, Limbus company made Korean national news because it all started from the player base, right? Very upset about how the game did not have a summer swimsuits. No humongous cleavage or boobas they were so upset they decided to boycott the company and go to their headquarters and then started digging up information about their staff okay and then once they found out information about the staff they targeted a staff member a female staff member who apparently retweeted stuff when she was a teenager about uh uh organizations that were anti-male because there is a cultural or a sex divide in Korea at the moment um, it, it's very political I'll not get too much into detail regarding this but basically the female she got fired the female staff got fired all right and then after she got fired and made national news because apparently it is illegal to fire without weeks like two three weeks notice and it was done overnight with a call or a text and because Limbus company, Project Moon, right, was funded by the taxpayers for a, basically a project, a government project to subsidize some of the expenses. Because they're affiliated with government funds, this is a big red flag and no go. They cannot do that. So imagine the shock when this made national mourning National Morning Prime Slot Korean News. Absolutely crazy. So, what does this hold for the future of Limbus Company or Project Moon? We don't know. Waiting for things to develop and waiting for more Korean bros to translate. But I was just stunned. Was, I've never heard of something this controversial for it to be a Prime News <laughs> slot worthy. So, yeah. We'll see. Outer plane. Oh, I missed uh, punishing great raven. Eight hundred thousand. Nothing much to talk about there. Outer plane down to seven hundred thousand. It's honestly just epic eight. No, sorry, epic five. The version, a uh, worse version of epic seven. So uh, nothing too crazy about that. Hatsune Miku. So this is a global version in comparison to, of course, the one that's doing really one well JP. Ten million versus. Um, 700,000 crazy aether gazer what a drop okay aether gazer what a drop from 1.8 million pretty much the first month post launch down to 600,000 now this is mostly also due to the fact that um there's basically no meta banners at the moment uh that's unfortunate but uh, people are just saving. But more time to save also means less needs to spend. So very curious to see how Aether Gazer is going to perform next month. If you give... Because Aether Gazer is quite generous, right? If you give players like a month or so to save, they're going to secure the next rate of banner. So uh, if they're going to secure it without spending, then where's your spending going to come from? So your star is friendly. We will have to see uh, how the report goes next month for a third gazer guardian tales that's fine path to nowhere sitting at half a million five hundred uh cn should be having its first anniversary very very soon 
And, uh, yeah. I don't know how Pass No Nowhere is doing right now. I haven't been following the news for the game anymore. I'm, I'm hoping they're doing great because I remember their voice acting was top tier. I agree with everyone talked about Alchemy Stars Global. Oh, this is Japan. Same with Global. Alchemy Stars is probably EOS soon. They are opening their CN server. So apparently they're raking cash there. I'm probably going to still keep the server going and keep milking. Counterside Rip soon. They delayed their GG Guilty Gear collab last minute. Um, I don't know why, but it was delayed and uh, Counterside is just looking worse and worse. Same with Arkland. I don't think we'll ever get a global one. In Korea, it's pretty much dead. And in JP, it's not looking so hot either. So who knows? And then we have NeuroCloud and Girls Frontline. Basically, money laundering machine. Because I have no idea how they're keeping those two games still going. Truly, Mika is absolutely insane. Right? Look at their NeuroCloud, NeuroCloud, Girls Frontline. All of these. All four added up together is like three whales. Crazy. And yet they still have the budget to produce Girls Frontline 2, which we saw on my closed beta test. We had a video. Absolute top, top tier gameplay and quality. Honestly, probably looking at one of the best games of 2023 update with Honkai Star Rail. It's so good. So I don't know. They, they managed to keep it going. Now, after that, we have Audrey Gear, bottom three. Audrey Gear sitting at 70,000. That stuff. Egan. <laughs> okay. I would say this is the fastest fall from grace I have ever seen. We went from a 1.8 million launch into a three digit, I think it was 138, 130, into 80,000, and then now to a 60,000. Holy moly. 60,000 in month four. Month four. Just let that sink in. You know what the sad part is? Artery Gear is 10k more than Hegan. Artery Gear is 10k more than Hegan. Good lord. Good lord. Is the EOSing soon? Probably not because the CN version is launching soon. If it hasn't launched already. Uh, but I can't expect no updates from Hegan. It's it's Jover. It's Jover. And the Alchemy Star also at the bottom. Ironically, the bottom two are having their CN releases and are getting hard carried there. So yeah, overall, quick breakdown. Uh, lots of dramas in the month report for July. <laughs> we'll see what uh, August has to offer. And I'll see you. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye now.